All right, let's go ahead and raise this air pressure up, and I'm doing it via the Firestone app. I'm gonna get up to like 50 and let go of the button, and it's on 50. You can see the numbers there, the PSI. And now we're going higher. Yes, I have Firestone airbags installed. I'll put the official title in the description of the video and put a link to it as well. So this is the Firestone air ride system, I believe, and it's gonna help me level my truck. I have a big towing video coming out soon. And in this video, let's go ahead and talk about the install and how it went, all the details. Oh, hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. So as it goes up, we can see the PSI going up here. And then I'm go we have memory, so I can set different towing stuff. If I'm towing a camper all the time, I can set that and do a memory. And then I can just do both, just take and raise that down, or lower that, excuse me, down to five. And here in a second, you'll hear it go. Yeah, pretty darn cool on this system. So in this video, like I said, we'll go through the install. I'll show you everything that worked out. I'll show you a special little trip on the bumper we did and how that's gonna work out pretty cool too for the next owner. As you know, 2023 Chevy Silverado, long-term vehicle, I will be selling it. Hmm. Lucky buyers can get lots of cool stuff on this. So let's go and get the install videos. All right, let's take a look what's in the box. Unboxing videos always do well on YouTube, so why not do some more? Uh, installation instructions with the app. Uh, I learned, looked through that last night. We got some uh, tie straps and some wiring and some, uh, some hardware. And then we have, this is where the hose goes in, hose adap adapter. We have the set hose. Doo -doo -doo. We have, this is kind of cool. This is an auxiliary kind of hose hookup. So when you have this all hooked together and you have the, um, you, know, you just have the little slot, plug it in and then you can have, fill up bike tires, fill up tubes at the leg, fill up the tires, what do you want to do? It's built in there. Here is our air compressor. Small little dude. And this guy will mount, I think, underneath the truck. Find a good spot for that. We have the wiring here for that. And then, uh, looks like some more wiring, or some more tubing. This guy, I was looking at yesterday, this is your control module. Firestone control module, this plugs into the compressor. Then you have uh, left, right, auxiliary, and you have extern external as well, supply, so supply, left, right, and auxiliary. Are your base of your main ones here for adding to that. And then a whole bunch of wire that goes with that. That is the compressor kit. This, oh, get a knife. That's not a knife. This is the knife. Oh, it's a knife. <laughs> yes, we're showing our age. All right. It's a box within a box. All right. In here is our air spring kit. You can see. Firestone. Right, right. All right. Carton has been sealed with pilfer proof tape. I hate pilfers. All right, we have some hardware, some straps. We'll put them on this side, keep them separated. We have a bracket with some straps. This is at the top or the bottom of the spring. Find that out as well. Two of those. Airline. There is our airbag. Goes up and down, goes in between his brackets. And if I recall right, reading the, watching the movie, or watching the videos and doing the instructions, we just remove the bump stops and put this in place. More brackets. The other side. And uh, one more bracket. There you go. It's in the box. Here's what we have built back here. This is the air spring there, or the air bag. And we have a bracket here. This goes on the bottom of the flange. As you can see right here, it goes in the lower bracket. And then we just put the top up there. So we're gonna put that in, screw that all in. And then we have a few more little brackets, the heat shield for if we have a um, getting close to an exhaust. And we'll finish that up, put the screws on the top. And it should be rock and rolling. Pretty simple setup.
Okay, here's what we got. We do the air compressor next, which is what this is. So we have the air springs or air bags installed, all tightened down. There's a bolt on the bottom, tighten that down. All the bolts are in there, it's nice and snug. Now we're gonna put the air, the air compressor in. We have a spot that is a body cavity in here. So the plan is, is to put one, the air compressor underneath, the, underneath and bolt it to the other side of the bed and then put the ECU in it, unit over here and we can do our quick access to our electrical lines all the way down. And so to do that, we have a little template like this. I'll go back, you can see the whole thing. So there is the air compressor and the ECU, the computer. And then I think it goes back one more page. The master plan. All right, here you go. You have air filter, goes out, create a loop. You plug it in here in the back of the air compressor for fresh air. We have a push to connect straight fitting that goes to air tubing. This goes into the ECU that has left, right. There is an auxiliary that for a separate inflation hose, which we have right there. And we have the airbags there. And then this routes to a dry location. And then we create a tube in there. And then we have black, white, or black, red to the battery and yellow is not used. And then there's an amp and line fuse that goes into the battery. That's the whole setup as we're gonna get this installed. You see the air com the compressors right there. And our control module is right here. We took off this mud flap to get all the excess. By the way, lots of bolts in this mud flap. This thing will survive a crash. <laughs> Probably our, our, uh, our guess here. We have auxiliary, we have left to right, and then we have this black one is for the air filter. So the little filter up there keeps the uh, water and that cuff separated. So um, yeah, black flow, back, back flow, back flow. So there's your line, put it all through the body, either through the frame or when underneath everything, you can see right there to the other side, the red line is right through there. I'll hooked up and I'll show you something special we did with his auxiliary here in a second. Okay, for the auxiliary line that we're gonna use for a variety of purposes, we actually installed it right here. So you unscrew this, it comes out and you pop in this adapter, which is inside the truck, but that's that line we showed you, the black line. And you blow up your, your floaties, you blow up your tires, you blow up whatever you want. There's your airline right there. Now, name of the game is wheels and tires go back on, and then we have this wire right here that we're gonna fish towards the front and come up to the engine bay and connect all together. Then we'll download an app and see if it works. But there are the airbags, air springs, airbags, what you wanna call them. And it's all hooked together. It's nice because it's all behind here, but you wouldn't even notice it the way it's all installed. All right, from the top of the bed, you can see the screws there, we put the nuts on the bottom side. You can, I was gonna spray some flex seal on top of that, make sure the weather coated. It's not really a big deal, doesn't really catch anything, but maybe a little bit of uh, black on there would make, well, some people feel better. Now, as far as price, I've been playing around with that this morning online. Um, I haven't really found a good price. Let's go to the website. You will see Firestone offers a all-in-one bundle kit. They do the Ride Right, which is their air bags, air springs should say, I don't know, springs, bags, whatever. Uh, they do that with a kit with a compressor. I haven't been able to find that when I searched online. So I went to two different websites you'll see here on the screen. One's gonna talk about the ride right system itself where you can manually air them up. Uh, the other one has the compressor kit that you put on, that way you can use the app and wirelessly blow them up. So it looks like a total price for those, from the retailers I saw, looking at about $1,500 for the airbag kit. And then when you combine that with the install time, you know, it took us a couple hours. It's something you can do at your home or garage. It's not a big deal um, to get it done. But yeah, so that adds, I don't know, a little peace of mind. And uh, yeah. All right, final steps. We're hooking up the wiring. We ran underneath the body mounts all the way to the back. And we have the positive and the negative. And then we had cut this slot here for the worn winch. And we're going to use the same slot to put our positive cable in. And we'll run our negative over there. There is a yellow cable that comes in this kit. You do not use the yellow cable. And the ground is back. We actually use a body mount. Uh, there was an existing factory body mount for the compressor. So the ground is back there. And there's our wiring. Okay, one more thing before we wrap this up. I'm in Michigan now. I did the whole thousand mile uh, towing out here with the airbags installed. And I can tell you, it creates a nice level um, towing as far as setup. Nothing looks squatted. It looks like it's right. And then I don't have a bunch of squat going down on the tongue weight because I lifted the bed up. And so that was kind of a nice feature too. And so I just, I don't know. I, I really like, kind of liked it. I thought it was a, a good addition for the time and effort and the money. I think it worked out pretty well, but to each their own. So let's go ahead and wrap this up.
All right, what do you guys think? Is that worth the money? Is it worth the uh, effort to put it installed? I mean, I think it's pretty cool, but I'm just kind of curious to you guys' thoughts. Put your comments down below. Also, check out other videos over here. Website down below as well. Pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.